I learned this. When you give energy, you will get energy. It's like to every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Opposite reaction. No power on earth can stop it from achieving that energy back. Mm -hmm. And E is equal to MC square. Mm -hmm. Energy becomes mass. mass into, uh, energy mass is converted into mass. mass. So the energy you are spending will never be wasted. You will definitely develop some physical mass and you will see it in your life. That could be your house, your bank account, your status, that's a different story, but just letting you know. But now I'm talking about if you give energy, energy comes back to you, right? Money is energy. Very few people understand this. I learned this because of NLP. Money is energy. You give this energy, nature gives it back to you in multiplication. You cannot stop it. So some people who become businessmen and they, they become businessmen by saving every single penny and they don't want to give anything to anyone, they will always be that kind of person. They will never ever touch the financial independence because financial independence comes when you give to others. Law of giving and receiving. Reciprocation. Law of reciprocation, yes. Reciprocity. Law of reciprocity. I think I wrote an essay on the law of reciprocity and I showed it to you. Did I? No, that was, I don't remember. That was so many years ago, six years ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So reciprocity, the law of motion, the third law of motion, every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. If you give money, it comes back to you in dividends. Bible says that. Quran says that. Seven folds. Bible says it's shaken down, uh, uh, overflowing something. Like that. Seven folds. You give one penny. 700 pennies will come to you. You give $1 equal to $700. So this has to happen. You may not immediately get 700, but you will definitely get something. And the remaining is you may survive some damages. Your health and other situations become so good that you are saving a lot of money. So financial success can come, come, can come in different ways, but one is equal to 700. You may get all 700 back right away too. Maybe you get just 100 right back and 600 you protect your accident. Am I making sense? Absolutely, Dr. But I had a question here. Yeah. You know, for the money thing, I strongly believe that it will come back to you when you give it out. By uh, you said in the Quran, in Greek Babel, it says uh, 100 fold. Seven folds. Hundred for they said different numbers. They okay, say. I remember seven fold. They no, the Bible said that uh, uh, in Christianity they said that you know uh, from your money ten percent you have you must give you know and one is the giving, second is you uh, one is that that you know they call it tithing you know uh, tithing they call it ten mm -hmm. percent. One is you know when I give money I don't typically they they people expect me to give it to a church. I don't I just give it to somebody on the street. I gave twenty dollars to that lady who was begging. You know, I don't know what's her fate. I don't think she mm -hmm. was begging. I mean, no, I just give it. So I'm not giving to a mosque or a mm -hmm. temple or a church. You know, I'm so just I giving wherever my heart tells me to give. Exactly. Exactly. And I'm not taking cash. I'm not taking that. Okay, I've given ten percent. I'm just giving. I have money in my pocket. I give it. And I insist this to everyone, every student I meet, everyone I talk about finances, that. Please, instead of developing a habit of saving like a stingy person, no, you need to save. You need save to like a normal person. Mm -hmm. Don't be like a stingy person, and always give some percent of your money as a donation. Because if you give, money will come. You can never remain poor. Money comes to you when you become a giver. And the the universal law is: if you want happiness, give happiness. If you want money, give money. money, give money. If you want Success, give success to others. If you want peace, mental peace, give mental peace to others. If you are giving mental stress to others, stress will come to you. So whatever you give comes back to you in dividends and not, not in just equal amount, multiplication and dividends. So same the money, it comes back to you in dividends. And as you said, the Bible said 10% and it's also mentioned in the book, uh, Richest Man, the Babylon. richest man Babylon. in Babylon 
mm -hmm. the 10% mm -hmm. formula mm -hmm. that you give 10% donation, 10% Jim Ron talks about it. Ten percent savings and ten percent investment. Jim Ron talks seventy ten ten. Yeah, so ten percent investment, ten percent saving, and ten percent donation. And you live on seventy percent. You live on survival. Savings. If you survive on seventy percent, because of this ten percent, and because of this ten percent, you're going to create a fortune. Well, he says 70, 10, 10, but he also said that at the early stage, the ratios may change. It cannot be, maybe it will be 90, 3, 3, 3, something, you know, the ratios can be changed when you don't have enough money, but you must have that donation habit. Donation right habit? And right from the start. Okay, and we are not denying the saving habit. No, you're not saying We are not habit. denying this. No, no. Saving habit is there, 10% no. saving. So the yes. ratios may change. Yes. This should be changed. It will be 9333. But you must give your money for some good cause. Investment. 10% investment, 10% yeah. saving, 10% donation. What he says that don't use 100% of your money on eating. And by before saving and investment, the basic principle is pay yourself first. Pay yourself first. Absolutely. Pay yourself first. People don't do this. People don't do this.